Hey guys, we're ready for part two of the robotics project. So as you can see, our robot has a control panel and it allows us to steer the robot and make it move. But this robot is not autonomous, so it's not a true robot. So in this lesson, we're going to begin the process of making this robot fully autonomous. So we're going to get rid of the control panel. We're not going to need it anymore. And we're also going to replace the motors. So let's get going. So you're going to need the replacement motors, two of these, the H-Bridge integrated circuit, four spacers, four screws, four threaded standoffs. I have a drill right here. I have pliers, needle nose pliers, a pencil, and then the drill bits. So let's begin by removing these motors from these gearboxes. So we need to bend back this right here to take out the motor. And then you can take out this wire from this socket here, or this clip. Okay, now we need to drill four one-eighth inch holes on this side of the robot base, so opposite of the skid area. Our battery pack is going to eventually go right here, so on the front end, we need to be able to put this H-bridge integrated circuit. So make sure that the metal heat sink is facing in the front direction of this robot base, and what you need to do is line it up in the middle and take a pencil and in each of these holes mark the area that you want to drill. And once you've done that you can take your screwdriver or excuse me your drill and you can drill those holes. And that way we can mount this H-bridge to the robot base. Okay, so we have the four holes right here. As you can see, I took the wheels off to make it easier to do the drilling. Okay, so what we can do now is place the H-bridge over those holes. Hopefully they've been drilled correctly. And then we can start using our hardware to mount everything on this, or to mount this H-bridge to the base. Okay, so take one of your screws. This one is the 440 3 fourths inch. So stick it in one of the holes on the bottom side so that you can see it coming up on the other side. There we go. So insert a spacer. And then you're going to put the H-bridge right there. 
and then you can put a threaded standoff you can screw it on so this these standoffs are going to allow us to put another platform on top we can put screws in on the other side and on that platform we're going to have the breadboard so that will be for another lesson but that's why we're doing it like this and then once you have this one here repeat for the other corners Okay, there we go. As you can see, it's all on there. I have the screws inside, I have the spacers, then I have the breadboard, and then I have these standoffs, which will allow us to put another platform on top. Okay, now we need to put two new motors inside these gearboxes. So I have the replacement motors right here. You see one in the bag. And then one is out here. So before we insert this inside, we need to make sure that we get the spur gear off of these old motors. You can see it right here. This was actually very difficult to get on. So we're going to need to use some needle nose pliers to get these off and then put them on these new motors right here. So per the instructions, don't squeeze or pinch this spur gear. It's not going to really come off that way. You're going to need to kind of push it off with the needle nose pliers, but be careful that it doesn't go flying off somewhere and you can't find it. So just kind of work it off with the needle nose pliers. There we go. Okay, so now we need to put these spur gears on the replacement motors. So again, you're going to need to use, most likely, the needle nose pliers. Or you can push it in on the table. That may be easier. Actually, a lot easier. Okay, and then, now we can insert these motors inside the gearboxes. Okay, so as you can see, I have them inside the gearboxes. The copper edges or contacts need to be facing out. I have them facing towards the left, and so this will allow us to solder some wires onto these contacts. Okay, well great job. You've completed the first part of making your robot autonomous. I'll see you next time.